With only emergency lights to guide them, commuters rushed to get home. But with subways stalled in mid-run, travelers soon found themselves back outside with only one option, to wait. What are you, gonna do? you have to be patient. What else can you do? Many tried getting hold of loved ones. Only a few were able to get through. Just calling to let you know that I'm fine, everything's okay. Meanwhile, thousands continued to pour out of office towers, some stumbling down stairs in complete darkness for close to an hour. Just came down from the 39th floor. I think it's taken us about 45 minutes. Our legs are aching. Right across the province, power was down, affecting estimated 10 million people. When power comes back on, we would ask people to use it sparingly. Uh, it will take time to get all the generation reconnected and uh, that, that could be uh, up to a couple of days. In the darkness comes the fear and the question, however irrational, could this be another September 11th? You can't allow that. To, if you allow that, you'll panic when there's nothing. By early evening, fear turned to anger at Ontario's premier for privatizing hydro. So if this is what's happening because of brownout, I'm not voting for Ernie Eves, that's for damn sure. Ontario has had its share of power problems, but the Premier blames upstate New York. They had a problem and because all the transmission systems are interlinked in northeastern North America for those jurisdictions. It affects everybody, not just the, uh, not just the originator of the problem. But according to energy analysts, the problem is homegrown. We are cruising for a bruising, that we have a, a system that is becoming increasingly fragile right here in Ontario, regardless of what our neighbours do. Emergency crews scrambled throughout the city, rescuing the countless trapped in elevators. This woman was treated after having trouble breathing. Just calls aren't getting serviced. It's too busy right now, I'm trying to keep up. At the airports, thousands were stranded, with most flights grounded. Have you received any information yet? I've received none at all. I've actually just been to the desk to complain. Now. Independent market organizers are urging people to turn off their appliances in case of a power surge. And even once power is fully restored, they're asking people to use it sparingly to prevent further blackouts.